Flag stand side by side for the race lead. They punch it at the line. Down the line. Good play, Michael White win. A drag race for the win. Who's it gonna be? It is Chris Rabbit with a win. And they're working up into turns one and two. Field's gonna lead it up, it's gonna be Cody Myers with the race lead up on, but turn number two as they head down the back straightaway. Buser sits in that number two spot as they roll down into turn number three and four. It's Justin Stone sitting in third, Blair's fourth. DJ Gagne gonna round out the top five. On the back bumper, Justin Stone, third generation driver out of Middlebury. That time, oh, almost got into the quarter panel of Buser, but held it back. Gee, as he tries to find a way around. Oh, Gagne way down to the inside of the 69M. He just gets back up on track as he avoids the implement tire on the inside of the front stretch. Four checkered flags are out. Plattsburgh's Cody Myers for the win. Up into turn number one and two for the first time. Oh, mystery machine with a tough break right away as he's gonna fall all the way back. Up off of turn number two. They'll head down the back stretch. It's gonna be Matt Leonard with the race lead. Here's Nathaniel Gay gonna make a bid for the number two spot on Michael Daniel. It's been all Matt Leonard since the drop of the green, but Nathaniel Gay with a great run up off of turn number two. Leonard slips up the bank and Gay shoots right underneath the bottom. He'll take the race lead away as they head down into turn number three and four. That's okay with Nathaniel Gay because he continues to check out. Oh, look out, problems for the 13. Nathan Smart's going off the top of turn number two. The checkered flags are in hand, and the winner is going to be the 55 of Nathaniel Gay. Two for the first time is Patrick Picotin. Going to be the driver that leads him down into the corner. They'll work him up off of turn number two. He gets a great jump out by about six car lanes down the back straightaway. Cars trying to jockey for position for the first time down into turn number three and four. They'll work their way around for the first time, and it will be the 48 of Picotin out in front. In turn number one and two, a little bit of jumble and fourth gets caught way up to the top side. He'll lose a number of positions down the back straight away as they fight for spots down into turn number three and four. Bruno, probably the best car on the racetrack, getting position. Cars together on the back stretch. Jamie Bigor in trouble. He'll come to a stop on the back straightaway. So winding down, this time by just 10 laps remain for Cody Allman as his car is bad loose off of turn number four. Points it in the right direction into one, holds on the lead, but right on the back bumper is Travis Bruno. Time as they go down into turn number one and two. Bruno gonna try to win the race to the front of the field, he does. New race leader off the restart. It's the 33R of Travis Bruno. White checker finish. Travis Bruno punches it. Here they come off of turn number four. Down the front stretch of the green flag is back out. Oh, Jason Bruno, he goes sideways into the infield. Goes to the outside of the winner, John Stanley. He will take over the top spot as the field works down the back straight away. A little bit of ground off for the leader right here. Way up to the outside goes the 22. And Lacey almost had that thing come around on him. He's a little bit now as they head into turn number three. He's going to try to get to the bottom. Johnson running a bottle lane off it. And as I tell you, you cannot count out the number 22 of Lacey as he is right there. Inside goes the 22 of Lacey. The only thing is they're going to have to move up a little bit for the slower car down the back stretch. Stanley gets off the track. He's going to go for the lead here on the front stretch. First time with the Tour this year for Vermont's Thomas Lacey. As he goes to the inside of Johnson, Johnson has won the last two races on the series. He's going to get the win.